Previously, we initialized our application using Create React App and installed our dependencies. Then, we added Redux so we can manage the state. Now it's time to build our application user interface using React and style components. Looking at it, we probably have a component to wrap the entire application. We have this title, which being as simple as it is, we can probably include inside that component. We have this list, which itself will be a component, and then the individual items, which will also be components. Before we start building these though, let's add another file in our styles folder. Let's call it mediaqueries.js. We'll want our application to be mobile responsive, so we need some uh, default styles so we can manage those seamlessly across the components, making sure that they all break at the same uh, pixel width. So first, let's create a const for mobile, the at media, only screen, and max width 480 pixels. We'll also want one for tablets. And we'll do this at 768 pixels. Now let's return to our components app index file. This is just the boilerplate that came with create react app. So we can go ahead and delete all of this. Using um, style components, we'll want to include our theme files. So style components provides a helper component called theme provider. What theme provider does is when you wrap your app in it, it will pass a theme prop to all the style components. That way we can use the same color palette for everything that we created earlier. So start by wrapping this, we'll have a div. Now let's import our dark colored palette. So import colors, dark, from styles palette. We will pass this as the theme to theme provider. Inside our div, we know we'll want to wrap our application, so we'll go ahead and create a wrapper component. We'll have a title. We'll call it Hacker News Reader. And then we know, we, uh, we know that we'll also have a list component. So let's create our list here as well. The wrapper and the title will be styled components. So let's assume those exist and call them wrapper and title. And we'll import those from styles. Also, let's go ahead and create an import statement for our list, which we'll create in a minute. It'll come from components list. Now create the styles.js file inside our app folder. When you create styles with style components, you'll use the styled object, which is the, the default export from style components. The way you build a style component is you will say export const We'll call this one, we'll create the wrapper. We'll say styled, and then the type of element, which will it will be a div. And then you add the CSS inside the string. So we'll say we want a width of 85% for our application. We want to center it, so we'll just do a margin left auto, a margin right auto. Height, we'll make it take 100%. Overflow hidden so we don't have any extra scrolling that we don't want. And we'll pad the bottom of it for 200 pixels. So then uh, there'll be some space between our list and, and the bottom of the page. We'll create one break at tablet. So we'll say tablet here. And then we'll make it take 96% 90 of the width. Now we need to import our tablet media query from styles media queries. We also know that we'll want a title on the page. For good SEO, you usually want one H1 title. So that's what we'll use for this. 
since it is the main name of the page. So export const title equals styled h1. Color. And now we'll use the theme, um, the theme prop that is provided by theme provider. And to use a prop inside a style component, you just interpolate the string. And props are passed in the function. So we'll say props, which is a function, props.theme.text secondary. We'll go with the font size of 20 pixels, a font weight light. So we'll go at 300. We'll create some margin at the top, 24 pixels. And we'll create margin at the bottom, 26. Now let's take a look at what it looks, uh, what our uh, page looks like now. So let's comment this out temporarily and see if our title appears. Can't resolve styles. Rename this to correct it. It compiles successfully. Let's go to our one we built. And now we do have the Hacker News Reader title at the top. Now we can build our list component. We'll create a new component folder list. It will come from the index file. And we know we'll also need styles. So let's create a styles.js file. Now our list will be very simple. First, we'll import React from React. We know we'll need a list item, so let's go ahead and make that assumption and import it here. And we'll need a list wrapper, which is going to come from our style components. Since it is a list, it makes sense for this to be uh, an unordered list UL. So first, let's create this component. List wrapper. We'll surround the list item. Now we're only going to use one list item for now, just so we can add some dummy data and see it in our UI, but later we will map through all the items passed as props. And make sure you export default list. Now let's generate that style for the uh, unordered list item. So import styled from styled components. Export const list wrapper equals styled ul. We'll give a background color. And once again, we'll use our uh, theme. So props, props.theme.background secondary. We'll add some border radius to make it less sharp. Four pixels, not 40, a bit aggressive. We'll center this margin left auto, margin right auto. We'll add some margin at the bottom of it. We'll also display it flex. And we know we want the rows to be going down instead of across, so we'll set the flex direction to column. Let's make sure we uncomment this in our app file. And now we also need the list item to make sure that we can load this. So list item folder inside our components, index.js, styles.js. So let's take a look at the list again, list item. We have a title, we have this domain here, and then we have a line below that has the score, the author, and the number of comments. So inside our index file, import react from react, and then we know we'll have a wrapper for the item, a title, we'll call it host for the domain, We'll have external links. We'll have that description bar. And then we'll have links for the comments. We'll import these from styles. So we, we initial, initialize a stateless functional component.
which will return an item. We'll have an external link around the title. And right now we'll just say the developer community. And then inside that we will also have the host, which we'll call getConnected.com for now. We'll also have the description, which is the bar below. We'll say it's 9,000 points by and then this will be a comment link, which will link to the author, uh, the author on Hacker News. And we'll say href equals uh, this for now, just a hash. rel equals no opener, no refer, no follow. So the no opener and the no refer are security things. Um, it's beyond the scope of this to go into that too much right now, but uh, you should always add this if you add a target equals blank. And then the no follow is there because since we don't control the content being posted, we don't want Google to necessarily associate with those. This will come from test user. They posted it one hour ago. And then we create a separator. And then we have another comment link. We'll set the href to the hash again. Rel, and now we have the same pattern coming. So let's actually create a const for this string. Const link rel equals this. And then rel equals link rel. Target equals blank and we'll say 42 comments typo here we want this to be external link link and then comment link great so now let's build these styles after we export our uh, our component so go to your styles file, and once again, we'll, we will import styled from styled components. And instead of typing out all these styles, um, it's going to continue to be the same pattern. I'll just copy these from the repository. So in our components, list item, styles. Grab all these. Copy, paste, and let's see if we have any build errors. Cannot export external link. Typo here, fix that. And there we go. We have one news item in our list with fake data for our hacker news 